everyone. Welcome back to Studio Lou. I'm Cindy and I am back today with day number 13 of Defemerember. So this is using a magazine or newspaper um, to make a belly band. So I've already gotten a little bit of a start um, on this. Um, not really. I, I will show you but I have done a few things ahead of time to just gather some materials. Once again this is a December daily ephemera making challenge hosted by 49 Dragonflies and Louis Lisa Heinzel, who are linked in my description box below. So let's get started. <laughs> so I think to make the belly band, um, I got this, um, if, I don't know if you've watched one of my latest thrift hauls or my Friday book hauls, I got this gigantic book that was full of newspapers. And it was also full of this little annual newspaper um, that was for Boy Scouts, essentially. So that's what I'm going to be using. Um, so I'm going to just make the shape of the belly band using this. You could do this with magazine or newspaper. And then I would cut it down here to a size that is sort of typical to the journals that I make or to the journal that I'm planning for this. So probably about there would be good. Um, let's just see. It's just about seven and a half inches. So that's what I want to do and then I'm going to stitch all the way around this and this will be the basis of my belly band. So beforehand I got to do a little bit of planning this morning which is a rare event for me. I actually got the stitching done. I used black thread with um, some teal in the back and I'm just going to leave these strings right here. So I'll move the book out of the way <clears throat> and I think I'm going to give this a bit of a bee theme. So I was thinking about ways to kind of create some fun um, embellishing for this, like with the bees in mind, because I have this book, Declining Bumblebees of Ontario, very sad, but unfortunately also very true. So this is about all of our bees and um, what's happening with them in Ontario and unfortunately all around the world, but I want to use some of the bees here. Um, so what I want to do is make sort of triple tier circles to create flowers. So there will be a small, a medium, and a large circle like this, okay? So one, two, and three. And they're going to be layered on top of one another. So what I want to do next with these is I wanna stitch around them like so. So I've done this already. Um, and then the next thing that I want to do is I want to ink around them with black ink so that they will stand up and have definition when they're attached on the belly band. So this is what all three of them will look like sitting on top of the belly band as so. And then I was thinking it might be nice to have them pop a little more. So I was going to use some fossilized amber um, <clears throat> to just kind of make them pop a little bit more out on that background. Just because it has like a nice yellowy tone to it, kind of a honey. Okay. So we have three of them and I'm thinking I want to lie them kind of like this and I've actually prepared already a couple more sets of them so that we'll have three like so. And then I also have these um, little silk leaves from an artificial plant. So the way that I use these is I peel the plastic off the back to get rid of the bulk because you don't need that there. So just peel all three of those. Okay. And I was thinking of sort of putting them behind here at different sorts of angles. And your circles can kind of be a little more freeform. They don't all have to lie on top of one another. Um, you can make that decision as you as you go. 
So yeah, I, I think that that's the general look that I want to go for. And then I want to put bees on there too. So now I have to choose which bees I would like. Um, let's see here. I like this yellow one. So let's take this page out of the book here. And I think it's a good size for this and I can use this whole piece. And I might be able to not fully impact the other image, which is nice. I'm actually going to cut, fussy cut around both the flower and the bee. Still going to leave a little bit of white space behind. Okay. And then another element I was thinking, just because we have some yellow, is I wanted to use a few little bits of this measuring tape. like that. Sometimes I wish that things would just automatically stick when I laid them down. <laughs> and then um, these will go on top, I think. Or potentially this will go up here and the B will go here. <clears throat> Actually, more like that. Okay, then I need another B. Maybe I can find one that's just the B without a flower. There's one. But that's the same B. Oh, here's a good one right here. And if you don't have um, a book to cut your bees out of, I'm sure there probably are some printables on Etsy that you could pick up. I'm trying to definitely use supplies right now, though. <laughs> okay, two and maybe one more. Or maybe even just a small flower. Um, what do we have over here? Not that. Or maybe another bee. That's kind of a cute stem though. That would look nice maybe at the bottom. Let's see. And then there's this bee on the back. I kind of like this pink stem a lot though. Um, hmm. It might just take up too much space unless I really super fussy cut it out. Let's see if I can just clean the edges up a little better. Without going in between all the leaves. Sorry if you can hear my elephants upstairs. That would be my two-year-old. <laughs> He's very excited in the morning. Almost there. Let's see if that makes a bit of a difference um, to how much space that will take up. So I think if I just maybe move a few things around, like this here, 
Maybe put our stem down first. Um, I just want so many elements here that I'm getting a little crazy with my elements. Maybe this just doesn't have a space here. <laughs> it just doesn't belong. <laughs> I'm sorry, flower. Okay. So let's figure out what we need to do here. What about if we just put that bead there? Now, I like the bead there. Okay. Okay. Let's try this one. We don't need to use this entire flower bunch. There's two there. I can separate them. So let's see how this goes. It might be fine though. Yeah, actually that's fine. Okay. 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 I think we have this figured out sort of. So let's just um, <clears throat> ink around these a little bit. Alright, let's start putting this whole thing together now. Um, I need both glues. So let's pick this up and this and this. Let's just get it all off here and start again. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> we know what we want to do up here is to begin with the flower, I think. And the leaf in behind. So let's ink the leaves first. I think I know how I want all of the leaves to go. And we'll do them all at once with the fabric tac Okay. You. Oops. Sounds like my kids are upstairs causing a little bit of a riot. <laughs> now we will add the measuring tape. Now it is time to put the flowers down. And I'll just build each one of these as I go. Just so we can get a better look at how the final product will look. Okay. And this is actually a lot easier to put together than I thought it would be. 
even though I'm doing it in a way that I don't normally do. <laughs> And then the last one. Okay. Give this a squish. Make sure everything is fully adhered. Put the pin back in the glue bottle. Okay. Let's see if we've glued this to the desk. We haven't. Good. <laughs> okay. So I think I think this is finished, and I really like it actually with all the layers and. Um, all of the threads that are here from having stitched around everything. It's kind of fun and makes it a little bit like shabby and might just go around the edges that are that are on the very edge here in some black to just add highlight. Okay, so that was a pretty quick and easy belly band, and it's pretty fun, I think. So there we go. We have another super nature-inspired piece for our junk journals. So I hope you'll try this out and play with some book pages, newspaper, magazines that you've been hoarding. Any of that would work beautifully for this. And that is... Um, for today, me being done, I will be back again soon, definitely for tomorrow, for day 14 of Defemember. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you did. Also, thank you to all of my latest subscribers. Thank you for pushing me over 500 subscribers. That's really wonderful. I hope you all have a really great day. Bye for now. Bye.